Contents Box Intro. Hold up, boys, it's your boy, Rocket Jump Off the Bridge, back at it again with another fucking box, Canada Day box, 4th of July box, uh, America, uh, box review. First up is gonna be the Glory 2 Canada box. Now, the first item in the Glory 2 Canada box is not maple syrup, but rather, ginger ale. Now, ginger ale is a reskin of the Troll Cola in a green, uh, variant, and honestly, I like it, it's a fine reskin, uh, but it's a missed opportunity that they didn't add maple syrup instead of ginger ale, or really anywhere in the box. Next up is gonna be the Nanaimo Bard. Now, the Nanai- Now, the Nanaimo- Nanaimo Bar. Okay, the Nanaimo Bar. Uh, it's basically just a Canadian s'more, uh, from what it looks like. I don't know, man. Uh, if, if there's any Canadians watching this video, which there's probably gonna be, like, two watching, uh, I hope I didn't offend your ass, uh, by calling it a s'more. Um, yeah, on to the next item. <laughs> next up is gonna be the sparkler. No, uh, this is pretty much just a sparkler. I don't really know, uh, what more explanation there needs to be. It's a sparkler, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. It's the sparkler. I don't know, I think it gives off light, so if you want to use it for that, you can. Uh, you could also probably burn someone with it, but, yeah, it's a sparkler. Next up is going to be the Browning High Power. Now, the Browning High Power is another generic 9mm with a flashlight attachment. It also shoots, uh, you know, .40 Smith & Wesson rounds, if you, uh, one, two, but, you know, mainly just 9mm. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, this is another generic black gun. Uh, unfortunately, Chad has been making a lot of those. But, thankfully, this is the only black weapon in the entire mystery box. Uh, so, yeah, I, I can't really complain too much. Uh, it's a fine gun. Same as pretty much every other black pistol that they've ever added in the Mirage. Only this one has a flashlight attachment. Overall, this gun is pretty underwhelming uh, compared to literally every other gun in either of the mystery boxes, uh, at least to me personally. Um, so this is definitely my least favorite, probably item in general from any of these boxes. Um, if you want to use it, you certainly can. Be my guest. But overall, uh, it's just not really my cup of tea. So uh, yeah, on to the next item. Next up is going to be the scoped C8. Now the scoped C8 is a green uh, assault rifle, I guess, with a scope. And you know, I really like this because it's green and black. It's not the specific type of green that I personally like, but it's kind of um to me it's reminiscent of the fusil, uh, which is a stream donator item. So uh, you know, that kind of sucks for people who just wanted that specific color scheme on their guns because now you can get this and a couple of other fine items for like 20 robux or not 20 robux like 60 robux 60 cents in comparison to 15 but you know it's a fine gun uh it has a scope obviously if you hit z uh good uh all right gun i guess i don't really have no, no strong, strong feelings, feelings one way or the other next up we're gonna be looking at the other mystery box that came out uh, the Glory to America box is, in my personal opinion, the better box out of these two boxes. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into it. The first item we're going to be looking at from this box is going to be the Coca-Cola. Now, the Coca-Cola is a reskin of the Ginger Ale, uh, which is a reimagined version of the Troll Cola. Overall, it's a pretty fine item. Uh, personally, I like it. It's... It makes sense considering there's plenty of Coca-Cola machines around the map. Next item. Next up, we're going to be looking at the hot dog. Now, the hot dog is a hot dog. Uh, everyone knows what a hot dog is, no matter where you're from. Uh, need I say more? No, I don't think I need to. It's a hot dog. Uh, I'm not personally the greatest fan of hot dogs. I prefer hamburgers. But, you know, hot dogs are still really fucking good. 
So, uh, yeah, hot dog. The next one we're going to be looking at is going to be the Delta 50 with the United States camo. Now, the Delta 50 is essentially just a AK-74, but in the form of a pistol, because it has quite literally every attachment in the game uh, slapped onto a pistol. Now, I really like this. I'm probably going to use this, because it literally has a United States flag painted onto it. Like, that that's actually really cool. I, I honestly like this uh uh, camo, I guess. Uh, I kind of wish that they did the same for the Canadian guns. Give that, like, a, uh, you know, red and white striped, uh, theme. But then again, red and white are two of the main colors in the United States flag, obviously. So, I can see why they, uh, held off on that. Uh, anyway, I like this gun. 10 out of 10. Chad. Bravo. On to the next item. The next item we're going to be looking at is going to be the AR-15 with American Camo. Now, this is honestly one of my favorite guns in the game. Uh, the AR-15 is by far America's most popular gun, uh, at least in modern day. And the uh, American flag just really suits its color palette in general. Uh, 10 out of 10, Chad, honestly. This is probably my favorite gun uh, in After the Flash history, honestly. The other day when I was recording Bad ETF Bios 3, Dukesy asked me, uh, what do you think will be in the new boxes? And my response was literally an AR-15 with USA camo. As an, as a complete joke. I was entirely fucking around. But, hey, it's in the game, and, uh, yeah, this, I claim this is my gun. If you try to use my gun without perms, uh, I will summon the killer bean and he will kill you. Next up is going to be the final item, the Firework. Now, the Firework is a classic United States tool for all Americans. Uh, so I mean, I guess it makes sense that this was added, but also at the same time, these are fucking bombs, so we're probably going to need perms. It's literally a fucking rocket on a stick. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, ignoring the fact that it's literally a fucking rocket on a stick... Uh, I, I dislike what they did to throwables, changing them to handheld projectiles. Uh, it doesn't really make sense. I feel like they could have just made the firework and the, uh, multi-grenade into a different tab entirely, but whatever. Let's set off some fireworks to end off this video. I hope you enjoyed the new boxes, and, uh, yeah, see you gamers. I, 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 I noticed something. We've hit, we've hit a thousand five hundred fucking subscribers, holy shit. Uh, th th thank you for that, I guess. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. Um, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna continue making content until the content fucking dies. So, uh, yeah, thanks for a thousand five hundred subscribers. Uh, it truly does mean a lot. And, uh. Yeah, go subscribe, uh, or else I'm gonna throw a leech at your dog.